Hello everybody, this is Mike Jr. the second. Welcome back to Let's Play Orcs Must Die 2 Story Mode. In the last session, we took on probably the first third of Act 2, and for today we're going to take on the next three levels, so we only have two more left after that. I've come to a decision that I do not want to play uh, the DLC yet for this game because I'm probably going to be focusing, focusing on uh, Orcs Must Die 3 uh, when that game comes out. It's actually why I'm recording today, even though I don't have a lot of time left before I have to go on vacation. So I figured I wanted to like probably get home, you know, finish these last two levels, and then after that just I play Orcs Must Die 3 for fun. In my own time, I won't be doing like a playthrough of it. I don't know if I made that clear. I'm not doing a playthrough of Orcs Must Die 3. I always play through games first before I... Um, decide to do like let's plays or stuff on them unless I'm doing like a weird stream thing but I don't have the ability to stream right now so yes uh so we are going to be taking down upstairs downstairs it's a little bit of an odd level uh it, it does the thing I said where like there's obviously a rift right in front of the enemies but they decide to take a different path which is kind of dumb <laughs> So, I played around halfway through the level earlier today just to test it out, uh, just so I had an idea of what was going on with it, so yeah. But anyway, this is the loadout we'll be taking today, the stone staff with the usual deals more damage to stone enemies. Um, I, I decided to go with the lightning ring because we are going to be dealing with some enemies we've dealt with before, and uh, I figured uh, the, the, the bone amulet wasn't going to do the effective damage against them. So I especially wanted this uh, the, the lightning storm effect with the chills because I think uh, slowing down the enemies is going to be very helpful. Um, I also have my hands on the ice vent. I, I debated on doing this or the steam vents because I know the steam vents are a legitimate option for a replacement for tar for sorceress, but I just haven't had an ability to use it yet. And while they are cheaper, you can get them to at least to be, uh, after you do all the level three, I believe, they're uh, 250 coins where these ones are 400. But I just wasn't feeling... I don't know, I just didn't trust it. You know, I want the ability to freeze the larger enemies when they show up. So I figured, you know what, we're gonna we're gonna keep this uh for now. And then I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring this, but you know what? I think this will be very helpful for today. Uh so I decided to bring the boom barrel dispenser. Again, not a weapon I usually use, at least not in the main mode, but I figured it'd be something to give a try for for certain areas to hopefully get them to, you know, get in the way that the and um I just know if I set it to automatically explode, it'll help deal with orcs that end up uh, crossing by me because they will get by you. You will have to you will have to play management with two different rifts in this next level. Oh, anyway, then we have the uh, the the usual with the uh, barricades, uh, reduce damage to them. I decided not to take the floor scorcher with me because I just wasn't getting a lot of use out of it in my when I was playing the last level for a little bit. I won't be doing it for the next two, by the way. I just did it for this one. But I wasn't getting a lot of use out of it, so I figured that's why I decided to get the Boom Barrel Dispenser, because you let it sit, it spits out a Boom Barrel, and then even if you hit only a few orcs with it, you know, it still does a lot of damage to them. So again, and that's also why I bring in the Coin Trinket as our trinket for today. You can, FYI, you can have more than one trinket if you want to. You can bring the Coin and the uh, the Fear Trinket if you feel like it. I just, I always feel like I want to get more out of my traps and stuff without it. All right, Acid Spray with the does the poison damage, Grinder with unjams faster, and then Darts with Freeze. I debated on Charm, but I don't want my barricades to get broken, though the Freeze might be ineffective against an enemy we will be coming up with soon. And then Archers with sometimes does the fire arrows. So, yeah. Is it sometimes? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, sorry. They have fire arrows. It only sometimes sets them on fire. But anyway, with that loaded out of the way, let's get to Upstairs, Downstairs. Cornforce is a great way to earn extra money for endless mode runs. Yes, it is. I almost thought about it for this level, too, because it helps kind of deal with the orcs at the beginning if you do the more damage stuff. Okay, real quick, I actually had to cut back because since I got rid of my outfits, it decided to set it to the Nightmare Bride. I wanted to keep it as the Exiled one because it, uh, for the rest of the game, just to keep it normal. You know, I, sh I showed off the DLC outfits, etc. So dumb, so dumb. <laughs> anyway, let's get back into this normally. Why are you reopening the rifts? I had everything under control. Without magic to bring the rains, there will be no harvest next year. Children will starve. Famine, disease, horrors beyond imagining. Is that your definition of under control? No, but hello? Starving orcs eating starving children ain't that great either. He does have a point. Hush. And you not betrayed the order, we could have held back the orcs for centuries. <laughs> starving or starving orcs eating starving children ain't that great either i i love that line that's that's such a good fucking line in my opinion <laughs> so anyway yes this is a nice mirrored level and ugh very annoying level so definitely not one of my favorites again i'm not a fan of the idea 
Uh, like, don't get me wrong, I like a lot of the layout of certain elements, but I think it would have made more sense for, like, one to be on one side or one to be on the other, or even another door somewhere. But because only, because, like, for the first few levels, they really only come up here, and then they start coming down the, the middle over here. But it's hard to tell which way which orcs are, and ogres and shit are going. Which, by the way, speaking of ogres... Got ourselves a nice fire and ice ogre for today, so keep that in mind. And we have zappers again. We're not going to get lucky like we did last time. <laughs> anyway, real quick, let me get my loadout set up. All right, nice little loadout we got going on. So, yeah. So, what's the best way to do this? Honestly, if we didn't have to worry about the zappers, I'd probably do something like this. Like, something similar to this on both sides. So, you, no matter which way they're going, you can force that. Okay, there might be a nice opening right here. But you, you know what I mean. You know, you do something like this to force the ogres and everything to go through. But because of the zappers, there's really no way to prevent them from not blowing up your shit. So, your best way to do it is to make sure you bottleneck it over here. At least as I was playing, this is the best option. But you want to bottleneck your stuff over here. Actually, I should probably move this up aside. You, might, you have the room, you might as well use it. They'll go where I want them to. But yeah, and then you can stick grinders on both sides. Though honestly, I'd probably move it back because you don't want... You, you don't... Because if, if they get into the vicinity of both of them, you don't want them to... Um, like right here, you know, if they get to right here, they're both working them down, which means one of they're both going to jam faster. So it might be good if ogres get in the way to, to knock them down very quickly, but still not the thing. Honestly, I'd put an acid sprayer instead because then you're spraying them down, slowing them, and then also uh, getting them <laughs> like that as well. So yeah, probably a good idea to do that with both sides, but guess what? You're not going to have the ability to do that with both sides. So, oh yeah, that's going to suck. Let anyway, nothing get through. we're going to do a grinder, and then I think I'm going to leave it at that. I do want to do... Oh, by the way, I don't know when this showed up. It's very weird. It, it only showed up partway through. But uh, guess what? There's a timer on the corner now. It was not always there. I was editing and I was like, was that timer always there? No fucking way. Yeah, there's a timer there now. It'll tell you what the time is. Now, it doesn't tell you part time. I don't know if it like... I <laughs> I haven't honestly checked. I should probably test it out to see whether or not it turns red if your part time starts running low. So, yeah. Anyway, always good to put archers over here. Keep in mind the archers can take care of... Uh, actually, maybe... Uh... I don't like the idea of putting them, but I want them to be able to hit uh, enemies going through the kill box. So probably a good idea to put them somewhat right there, though I watch out for crossbows, because the crossbow guys are probably going to take them out. And, well, at the very least, we have a teleporter up here. Probably going to want some archers up here to just kind of get some stragglers as well. And honestly, you'd rather... So it, let's say they get close enough, you would rather them attack your archers and let you know, like, oh, an archer is down. Oh, fuck. I need to go through the portal right away. Bam. So, probably gonna do to do that as well. And after that, I don't know. They come out of... Oh, I thought they came out of that side first. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> no, nobody said I was a genius, right? Right? Like, God, I hope not. A special gift just for you. There we go. All right. Yep, I'm out of money now. So, yeah. And then feel free to set up kill boxes and stuff over here. They are gonna come that way first, but... I honestly like setting up the middle because this is the closest path. At least if they go up here, you might waste your part time, but fucking A, at least they're not going to get into your rifts just yet and basically make you have to redo the whole level. Alrighty then, let's go. I when I replayed this. this, so when I played this, I literally used the same layout I used for the last uh, session. And I gotta tell you, not having something like... By the way, they have shields now. I don't know if they had shields in the last session, but they do now. Shields, if you don't remember, basically allows the enemies to um, take a hit. Oh yeah, this coin's going to be so nice as well. But yeah, so basically they can take a free hit. No matter what hits them, they'll be able to take that one free hit at first. So make sure you get those shields down right away. It's better to get all the shields down than it is to... Um... Nice, nice. But it's better to get all the shields down. Thank God, okay. So at least surprise fucking kobolds won't get through. <laughs> but yeah, not having something to do crowd control like the, you know... Basically, almost any other magic item in the game. It, even even the the bone golem helps with crowd. I'm mean, I don't know. I guess the main on the bone golem is more crowd control, but uh, the or sorry the the bone amulet. So I really wanted to bring Steve again, but Steve was just uh, not going to be in it for today's session. Or session, sorry for this particular level wave. No level. That's what I'm looking for. Let's do it again. Awesome, awesome. Oh, I must have got hit there. That's weird. Did I drink the potion? I swear I drank the potion. Okay. Do that. I'm ready. Yep, and here we go. We got these motherfuckers coming through. And keep in mind, they are coming through. 
god. You know, these guys would be a huge pain in the ass, but with the stone staff, very easy, very easy. But as you can see, there's actually a frost ogre on the other side as well. What a what a fucking inclusion for the first part of this. I'm just, yes, yes, I know. I'm getting to him. Alrighty then. That's right, come to mama. Oh god, <laughs> did I really say that? No! Okay, okay. And as we can see, I, for a second I was wondering if our rift was, uh, our par time was getting fucked up with this, but nope, we're good to go. Anyway, my plan was to put boom barrel dispensers oh, over here. I don't know, <laughs> I love the sound it makes, god, I've never heard that before. This is, this is where I get into the new stuff. But no, I wanted to put these over here because I, no, I, I doubt they're working during the, uh, these moments where it takes the time. But now, hopefully when they lay down, even if they're just slightly close enough, they'll blow up fucking, uh, they'll blow up some of the critters and stuff. Alright, well, I guess we'll have one on that side, and yep. Oh, that's right, they start with zappers. Fucking A, came to the wrong side. Nope, nope, fuck off, fuck off. Okay, and then I think they come from the other side? No, they don't. Yeah, they fucked up my barricades here, as you can see. Oh, yay. Fucking archers. Eat my ass. You guys suck. I can't remember if they come in on both sides or just one. Oh, yeah, now they're coming through, this, through the middle, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if I made that clear. Honestly, I need to use the... Uh... Might as well take that. All right, keep in mind zappers again. Here we go. It's Chris Sapot too. Yeah, I didn't think about the chilled effect too. Oh, that works well for the zappers. There we go. Left my barricade safe on this side. Thank God. All right, then. Honestly, the <laughs> the 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 dart thing isn't actually seem like a good idea for right here. There we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, the only thing I worry about the crossbows over here is that they end up. Uh, are some of them actually going up? I do know some. I do know they don't just focus like one wave. They'll go one way and one wave the other. Sometimes they'll go both ways, which is really obnoxious. Oh look at this! Oh look at all these. Anything that tries to go through here is gonna get one fucked. Here and one over there. Oh, so many at once. I'm gonna do one right there. There we go. Okay, now they're coming in on both sides. I think zappers come a bit later as well this round. I only got up to wave seven. I didn't want to take too long. Cool, cool. Awesome. Killbox is doing a lot better than I thought. Oop. All right. Well, since this guy can walk through the ice fence, which I don't know if these guys get chilled. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Bam. Cool, cool. Yeah. So at least that worked well against the ice ogre. Okay. Don't want to waste too much of my part time here, but I don't want to fuck around too much as well. So yeah, with the stone staff, I'm not too worried about upstairs. Yeah, that works out well. Okay, we're gonna do that. God, we've got plenty of boom barrels over here. We're gonna we're gonna fuck these guys up. All right, we'll do that up there, and I'll try to get another one on the other side. We'll do that. Ah, here we go. Yep, these kobolds will come this way, FYI. They're not gonna play nice with you on this, so make sure you got grinders up, baby. Get your grinders. Get your grinders. Nope, they're coming on the other side. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Come on, assholes. Come on. As you can see, they're going this way. Alright, I don't see anything on the other side yet. Make sure to keep a look on your map. It's gonna be your best option for keeping your, uh, basically everything safe. I need to make sure to keep an eye on my money. <laughs> don't want to do zappers and then, uh, it doesn't work. I don't know what I want to do with my money. Begin the lesson. Okay, that should work. Forgot zappers are gonna come on the other end. Grinders will be fine. Cause this is a mirror, I believe. That's right, that's right. I seem to be more prepared for the zappers on this side than I am the other side. Fucking fuck off, guys, seriously. All right, nothing's gotten through yet, that's good. Honestly, I'm just gonna use this. Yes, I'm sure they are. All right, cool, cool. Doesn't look like anything's getting on the other end yet. That's good. Insects. Awesome, awesome. Cool. Oh yeah, I didn't put a grinder on that side. I put that. Ah, eh, whatever. Back time, children. I'm gonna 
gonna do that. Oh, I don't have, uh, these things over here. Okay, okay. Yeah, coming through on this end. Yeah, as you can see, you could probably do a coin forge right over here and kablooey. Oh, no. So many dead all at once. Gotta say, I've done pretty well on crowd control right here. God, see, that's, that's what makes it great to use things like the lightning ring and stuff. And again, the stone staff really helps with uh, enemies as well. Because, like, those larger enemies, you know, stone them, hit them, dead. At least if you have the one effect. But even not, you know, being able to Let's do... Because it's like the, the ice amulet doesn't have, like, a really good one fucking weapon, you know? Alright. I want to back up on both sides. Cool, cool. I don't think... Let me get one more on this side. I'm getting really close. I'm not getting really close at all. I do think that I don't have to worry too much. Anyway... I'm gonna play it safe. Cool, uh, hopefully that kills him. Did you like how I figured it out? Yeah, look at that. Fucking called it, baby. I didn't even get close to 10. Like I said, I was seven. I think I got to wave seven, eight. That was it. I did not get past that round. Fuck yeah, get fucked, you assholes. I'm actually gonna do this. Get my mana back with that. Oh no, fucking assholes. I mean, they're gonna... Oh, fucking A. Alright, that's about as close as they've gotten so far. Yeah, you better. Yeah, there's nothing up here at all. <laughs> oh, thought I had the stone staff. Awesome, awesome. I need to get downstairs right away. Please, please, please. Fuck off. Nope, nope, this is fine. We'll kill you, because Ice Ogres are the hardest to deal with right now, since I have the freeze vents. Awesome, got him out of the way. Is there any limit to my genius? Now keep in mind, you can still pick up these barrels too. You, like, you can do this if you want to, not something I do. I'm guessing, does that mean we're, what? That does happen sometimes as well. It's really annoying. Because your your trap's You'll still set off the this. stuff. We're gonna do that. Honestly, probably a good idea just to do shit like this. Oh now the <laughs> now the heavies come through, of course, of course. I'm just putting random shit up now. Just trying to spend my money properly. Oh my god, there's two coming on both sides. Nice, nice. Alright, well they're going upstairs. Yes, okay. Stupid right click wasn't working. Okay. Hopefully the the stack of boom barrels helped out. I don't know if the boom barrels worked out really well on this. Let's see. No, not really. This would honestly be super bad if I didn't have the stone staff. Okay, last one got down, and bam. Five skulls, baby, get fucked. I gotta stop saying that. I don't know what got me over to saying that. <laughs> and then finally, after so, you know, after they give us an enemy that can resist it, they give us the Flame Bracer. Thanks, game. All right, part-time was actually really good there, so I guess I feel free to spend a little bit more time. Though you know me, I, I like to rush this stuff. <laughs> I, last thing I want is for part-time to fuck me over. But anyway, yep. So let's look at the Flame Bracer. This thing is actually really fucking good in this game. I would say the Lightning Ring, while it has a larger area of effect, it didn't hit as many enemies. But with this game, the Firewall briefly stuns. It has a stunning effect. And keep in mind, you can basically put a nice fucking thing down and then, you know, everything's gonna cross it, you know? Really good. This is a really good one. I would say the Lightning Storm is probably better for Sorceress because slow is just so effective. But as a War Mage, uh, the, the ba basically the ability to prevent any enemy from coming through without being stunned is really fucking good. So yeah, Flame Bracer, really good one in this game. 
All right, then, guys, I do hope you have enjoyed this. I uh, hope you enjoyed Upstairs Downstairs. Next time, we're going to take it on one of my least favorite levels in this game, or at least one that's not fun. You know, maybe maybe fun that's really interesting, but not fun to, to play, at least in my opinion. You, you dread it, honestly. So hope you guys enjoy. Catch you guys next time.